What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where last time we got heavy modular frames done and also added this little bit of a mess which will be deleted soon to make package fuel. So we actually was able to unlock the jetpack so we can go through the hyper tubes and land safely but also be able to build a little bit quicker and build from heights. So as you can see we can now land on the foundation nice and easy without even hurting ourselves but today i want to look at computers as you can see we need to make some circuit boards get some cables plastic and screws so what i'm thinking is we build the computer factory up on this little cliff down here so all i need to do is just bring the plastic from the oil rig just to the cliff face here and then we're going to grab this iron from here but we also need to make circuit boards which require copper sheets and plastic and that recipe is built in the assembler so we need to do that so i'm more than likely going to make this in the computer building we're just going to bring everything else over to that building and get everything built in one location so the first thing i want to do today is upgrade all these pipes to mark ii because as you know they are mark one but they on the input side they're receiving 600 cubic meters of oil per minute so what we need to do is go into our hub go over to tier six go down to pipeline engineering mark ii now that we're receiving heavy modular frames and creating them, because we did that in episode 12, if you haven't checked that, check the link in the description. Then click select milestone, insert them all, and unlock pipelines. And then, balabing, balabosh. We now have milestone Mark II finished. pipelines and Control Mark II pumps. Ava, send away! <coughs> Do you <laughs> think? <laughs> okay, back to it. Ava, shut up. I need to turn you off. I don't like you. <laughs> so as you can see, in our build menu, we now have pipeline Mark IIs. And if you look to the right hand side, it transport up to 600 cubic meters of fluid per minute. And requires plastic and copper sheets. But we also have pipeline pump mark two as well which gives a head lift of 50 meters and we'll get into that pretty shortly so what i need to do now is go down all of these pipes and then upgrade them all to mark two so with the power of editing you guys get to miss all of this and i'm gonna go through it all so I'll see you in a minute. And there we go. All the pipes have now been updated. We did all the ones over in the Spire Coast and the ones going up the leg in the oil rig. Next up, we're going to start working on the computer factory. So I do need to start laying down some foundations in this general area. We do have some copper over here as well. Um, but first of all, I do need to get rid of all these trees. And this is a normal. Uh, it's not bad. I suppose we can kind of... Maybe, wait, maybe I'll make the copper sheets here because we have the normal node. It saves us transporting the copper. Ooh, maybe we actually do that. And then we could just bring the iron from over here because I need the iron that's down there to actually do the screws. So first of all, let's start getting rid of these uh, trees so we can make some room for some foundations. And there we go. Now, with the trees and bushes gone, we need to figure out where we go. I think I'm just going to use the world grid. So let's just grab a foundation. Let's just place this down and we'll kind of just go roll with it. Okay, foundation down. Quickly make one of these. Remove this. Add more foundation. Make a hole for the miner. Add the miner and then fill in hole. With all that being said, please remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you're enjoying the videos. Also, if you are enjoying the videos, make sure you check out my second Twitch channel we have just made recently where you can watch me do all of this live. Yes, I mean live. Look at all the comments. Look at the people here right now. They're all saying hello to you. Go over and say hello back. Link in the description. Go. With this self-promotion out the way, let's now look at doing the copper sheets. I've just been trying to figure out what to do with this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in 100 and f uh, well, clock this to 250. Put it at 150 parts per minute, which is going to go into uh, s five smelters. So we need to put five smelters down. One, two three four five and then we're going to put this onto a manifold system so we're going to put some mergers down on the outside aiming it to the bottom half of this build and i need to do the front side where we need to put some splitters so we can bring in the copper ore from and then we've got 150 coming along so we are going to need a mark three belt attach it in belt all these splitters together mark ones on the inputs now that we've got the copper ingots what we're going to do is we're going to put down a constructors which we're going to need seven of so if we put seven of these down, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. So now I need to put some splitters down here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to bring the line from here down this way and go down this manifold line. And then all the copper sheets are going to be coming down this side here. So again, we're just going to put splitters all the way down there. We're going to put the mergers all the way down here and have the copper sheets coming up at this entrance here, which will then go to the assemblers where it'll meet the plastic. And there we go. Now the constructors are down, but I've also done a little uh, little crazy thing. It's not, I would say crazy, but still. I've got the mergers to come this way, but I've also got them to come this way to come along here because I have put the assembly lines down. Yes, I kind of skipped that a little bit, but I'm going to explain to you with what is going on. So... We have the copper sheet's going to be coming up this line, going all the way along this manifold as, you know, as it does. And then the plastic is going to go across this top line, down the lifts, into the assemblers. The assemblers are going to be set to do uh, circuit boards. And in circuit boards, they need 15 copper sheets per minute and 30 plastic per minute to give us 7.5 circuit boards per minute. Because if we have a look in a manufacturer, it actually needs for a computer... 25 circuit boards so we are making all well we are well, over producing the circuit boards but we could put that into storage for some future things now with that being done what i need to do is look at where we're going to possibly put the manufacturer but i also need to look at possibly getting now the screws from down there or the plastic from over there from the oil rig and I'm, what i'm going to do with the oil rig with the plastic is i need to make sure um how we set this out is kind of oil rig-ish, if that makes sense. So we're going to do some form of platform that's very industrial to come all the way along here. Well, there's a hard drive down there. Um, to kind of come up to this building. Uh, and yeah, and then we can send the, bring the plastic in here because it needs to... We need about 165 plastic per minute in total, I believe, right? Because that's 30... 60, 90, 120, and then the manufacturer has, well, needs 45 as well. So that's, well, 165 we need in total. Um, and I don't even know if I'm producing that much. As it turns out, we're actually making 200 plastic. So we're, we're more than capable. We've just got an additional 35 plastic to do with whatever, because we've got 10 machines and 10 machines are giving us 20 plastic each. So yeah, we should be fine. Okay, so I've been a little bit busy. I've added the whole bridge now that is going to the oil rig, created a little bit of a structure for the computer building, and got all the machines running. So yeah, I kind of come up with this little bit of a design for it. I kind of wanted to keep it industrial, and I think it works, and I'm really loving the orange, blacks, whites, and uh, greys. I think we're going to stick with that throughout our build throughout this playthrough. For the whole building design, we've kind of kept the same color scheme as well, and kind of give it like a modern like futuristic kind of feel to it with the orange trims and the darks and the grays so yeah i'm kind of liking the way this is going so far and uh it's not obviously fully finished and more than likely we're going to need to add a second floor because we need to add you know the screws in here the cables and also the computers so speaking about screws since we've done it previously in another episode all i need to do is add the smelters then add the constructors and then add the constructors for the screws and once all that's done we just need to belt and power and there we go that is all the first floor now complete so the next thing i need to look at is actually starting the second floor um so i need to just find out the height that we need to because we need to take up this copper take it up there so we can start making some copper wire uh, and then turning that into cable so then we can send that to the manufacturer as well as the screws uh, and the circuit boards and the plastic which actually with the plastic we do need to put this uh, down as a smart splitter technically this one right here because we want the overflow to come out this way most of it is going to because all this is going to be full so technically i don't actually and then we'll send that up via a lift so let's crack on with the the floor so go with concrete and i will just try it at this height for right now is that a good height i don't know anyway let's just maybe just put the floor down like this and then we'll uh we'll come back to it and assess Yeah, so I, th I do think it's a little bit too low because I um, cause if you look at this, uh, it's kind of going into the miner and I kind of want to incorporate the miner into the building. So let's actually um, 
raise it up a level. And there we go, all raised up. I think it looks a lot better. Plus, uh, obviously, we can actually get the miner in here now as well. Uh, the next thing I need to look at is added a conveyor hole to the ceiling there and then bring down a lift, which I, I can't remember what belt are you. What belt are you? You're a Mark II. Okay, so let's just put that on a uh, Mark II belt and then bring that down, connect that up, and then we can start working on stuff upstairs. So the first thing we're going to put down is the constructors. Because we are bringing it on a 120 belt, that's going to go to four smelters, very much like the rods downstairs. Uh, and we're just going to do... Oh, that's in the wrong position. Um, then we're just going to do exactly the same setup that is going down with the screws, except the two constructors are going to merge into one constructor. So I need to put down... Uh, for every one smelter, we need to put down two constructors. So we need to put down eight in total. And then we're going to go around this side and then go into the middle here uh, and place a smelter uh, about... Where was the middle? Where's the middle? About there. Yeah, that'll do. And I need to put one for these two. It can be a bit of a pain, but as long as the, the others line up, we'll be fine. Like that. And then all I need to do is just grab myself a splitter, put you down there, connect that up with a Mark 1 belt, you up with a Mark 1 belt, and you into there then we need to do the same for them now with the inputs done what we need to do is get a merger on the front side merge these two constructors together so we can place you about there put them in uh, with mark ones going into there with then a constructor going straight into this one so we'll just line that up there connect you assign this to cables because as we know we need 60 wire each constructor that is making wire only outputs 30 hence the reason we are merging uh, two constructors into one, but we can then get cable. So then we need to do that for the rest of them, and then we should have four constructors outputting the cable. Now that we've placed them, and then we've placed the merges in front, all we need to do is just connect them with Mark II belts, because we are creating 120 cables per minute. Then that is going to go this way, where we then need to put our manufacturer for our computers. And then we need to bring the plastic from downstairs, the um screws and then also the uh what is it circuit boards that's it jesus okay so downstairs on the first floor i've actually now uh brought all these together so the plastic circuit boards and uh screws are all now going up onto the second floor uh there i've also flipped these mergers as well to face this way allowing me to put the uh wire into that line that actually needs to be a mark ii so mark three, and then a mark one, and then a mark two to go there. And then I need to just get mark three belt straight into there. A mark two belt into the second hole. And then a mark... No, 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 wrong, wrong. Mark one into the second input. And then a mark two into the third input. There we go. Now we have it going. Now we just need to get all this powered. And then we are making computers. And there we go. The first computer. And then that is now all of our machines done. And what we need to do in this building. But we have one more job. Which is to finish the design of this building. So that's what I went and did. Just look at it. It looks pretty, pretty cool. It works well with the oil rig. And now that we have the bridge going across, bringing the plastic, I feel like there's something missing from this. And when I was, you know, kind of coming up with some designs, I, I feel like some form of detail is needed here in form of a tower or something. But overall, I'm liking the look of the building. Loving the colors. But we achieved what we wanted to do for today. And that is going to be it. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to like, subscribe, and also check out my other YouTube content right here for your faces to see. So as always, thanks for watching and keep smiling.